iPhone 14 release is right around the corner and today I have more news for you. But before we get started, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. This video is sponsored by SetApp, an incredible cross-platform suite which gives you access to over 200 iOS and macOS applications without any additional cost. You only need to pay for your subscription and choose the apps that you would like to use. Now, a great benefit is that you can start a free trial when you use the link listed down below in the description. So starting off, we've been hearing about iPhone 14 production impacts for quite some time. In previous videos, I talked about Apple facing supply chain issues and expanding its list of suppliers. We also discussed about issues in the production, such as quality control issues because the rear camera was cracking. ming Kuo said that this was happening due to a coding and Apple would possibly transfer 10 million lens orders from one supplier to another to avoid shipping delays. However, and this is actually a good thing, ming Kuo now believes that the new lineup is not facing impacts on supply chain and both mass production and shipment schedule are on track. He said that although some investors have recently worried that the mass production and shipment schedule of the iPhone 14 models may be affected by geopolitics, his latest survey indicates that there are currently no impacts on the supply chain of the iPhone 14 models. On the other hand, according to DigiTimes, iPhone 14 suppliers are currently feeling uncertain about how high the iPhone 14 demand will be. It is unclear why suppliers may feel this way at the moment, but these are a few possible reasons. Uncertainty regarding the new features, such as the hole punch display cutout, the new 48 megapixel camera, bigger camera module, better performance, and the new iPhone 14 Max. And also the reported price increase of the iPhone 14 Pro. I'll talk about this in a second. But first, let's talk about how many iPhones Apple is expecting to manufacture and ship. The company believes that this year's lineup will sell better than expected and Apple told suppliers to increase the iPhone production and shipment to 95 million units, up from 90 million. This information came from the Taiwan Economic Times and according to the report, the iPhone 14 Pro Max will be the one that will sell the most. And according to a Bloomberg report, Apple expects to manufacture 220 million units in 2022. Now I want to hear from you. Are you planning on purchasing the new iPhone 14? Which model are you looking into? I know that I'll be purchasing the iPhone 14 Pro Max, but I'm still not sure in which color. But let's go back a little bit. Did I hear price increase? Unfortunately, yes. You've seen in a previous video that Apple is likely going to keep the iPhone 14 starting price the same, but too bad I cannot say the same about the iPhone's 14 Pro. According to ming Kuo, the iPhone 14 Pro models will be more expensive, starting at $1099, and its shipments will be higher as well. And last but not least, a little bit of good news for you, the iPhone 14 Pro could start with a 256 gigabytes of storage option instead of 128. So yes, more expensive, but also more storage, better performance, better cameras, better display, and more. Do you buy it? And these are the latest news about the iPhone 14 release. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.